Morning. So, how are we today? Um, we are getting ready for work. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Are you not joining us? That's probably best. You've got lots to catch up on. My uh, stuff in the wash will be ready when you get back tonight. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. See you later, Lee. Thanks. Have a good day. Morning, Mark. Maisie. Morning. I thought you'd be out with the game birds by now. I won't deprive some of his favourite job. I couldn't be so heartless. Listen, Lee, I'm really sorry about earlier. Mm, what for? Well, Nathan being... Well, being Nathan. <laughs> Look, as far as I'm concerned, Nathan could be there every morning trying to annoy me. It's the way he treats you that gets to me. I know he can be a bit full on. Yeah, but it's not just that. Look, I'm sorry if I'm out of order, but... but he's round when he feels like it, he stays over when he feels like it, and when he's got something else to occupy him, he's away, and... and you don't matter. Not from what I can see, anyway. Look, OK, you're not to say it. I know it's none of my business. But he promised he'd seen the error of his ways, but... I don't know. Will he ever? Well, it's not exactly what I expected you to say, considering I just slagged off the guy you're meant to be seeing. Or not seeing. Are you sure you can make it through lunchtime without hitting someone? Because otherwise management refuses service. <clears throat> Keep the change. Having a nice day off, Nicola? Oh, um, yeah, thanks. <laughs> so reminds me, coming here was a good idea for why again? <laughs> Look, I can understand why you might want to avoid a certain person, but this is our pub just as much as his. And if he starts to pick a fight, Just ignore him, ignore him. I fully intend to. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your wife is giving me some right filthy looks out there. Anyone would think she didn't like you. Oh, I'm crushed. Maybe there's a helpline I can call. Anyway. I take it you didn't want me after the conversation. No, oh, for me. Well, have we quit? No, we aren't. And we won't be until you start taking this seriously. Dear God, what do you want? More than that. Clock's ticking. to see me? Yeah, have you checked out the grouse today? Well, not yet, no. I've had other things on. Why? It's just that Sam thinks there might be something sniffing around the pens. Well, I'll take a look later. <sighs> Rather you did it now. It's just that it'd be a bit of a problem if a fox got in before the pulses learnt to fly, don't you think? So much for all like yesterday. What happened to working as a team? That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Look, I'm not to do my job. <laughs> That's good to know. Look, although I did think you left the house a little later than I'd have liked, for a gamekeeper. <laughs> so that's why he was there, checking up on me. I did wonder. <laughs> Katie did too. What does that mean? Nothing. Have you been talking about me? It's not, I'm a mate, we're allowed to talk. I won't bank on keeping your feet under the table for too long. I see. You've been dripping poison. It was a private conversation. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Do you know what? I'm stuck. What am I gonna do with an incompetent gamekeeper who slags off his boss? I know. You're fired. I'm not joking. Nathan, you fired me that often. It stopped meaning anything anymore. In the past, I came back, which is probably why I did it in the first place. However, here's the difference. This time, I'm gone. And I'm not coming back. Oh, and, uh, you still don't own Katie. Bye. Oh, look, market. Time's up. 
You had to think. Yes. Wise man, so? I'll double the offer. Oh, no, I'm disappointed. Tough. Take it or leave it. And make no mistake, this is a one-off. You try and turn me into your own personal ATM and we'll have a real problem. Oh, missus is coming. Mark. Do we have a deal? I can't get over it. Two women running after you. What is your secret, eh? Well, we have a deal. You should play poker, you'd be good at it. Is he threatening you? Not exactly. Well, he hardly stopped for a chat with his prospective father-in-law, now did he? What's going on? I've agreed to pay him some money. You did what? No. Oh. Well, he was threatening to have me charged with assault, so, uh, you know, I uh, just decided to uh, pay him off. What happened to I will clear the washing machine before you back? I thought I'd have a drink first. What's happened? Nathan's giving me a push. Why? Look, we just had a bit of a falling out. Look, it's his loss. I'm well out of it. What do you want to drink? Well, I think maybe I should get you one, don't you? Oh, come on. Not the last time I can actually afford to buy you around. Orange juice, thanks. OK. Can I get an orange juice, please? Yeah. Oh, right, I'll get on with dinner then, shall I? Ah, uh, go on then. Take it out in the kitchen utensils. Is everything all right? I, I, I got out your hair. Uh. Natasha. This is the best way. The best way. We are effectively paying him to see Maisie. That is ridiculous. Yes, you're absolutely right, it is. And I should think of it another way, like, uh, oh, you giving in to blackmail and or extortion? He could have me arrested. You really want that? No, of course not. Well, then? Jo, I just can't stand to see that little weasel getting away with it. The fact is, I hit him. He's perfectly entitled to have me charged. Let's face it, if it had been the other way around, we'd have called the police. So maybe he's done us a favour, albeit unwittingly. I pay him, it's a one-off, and then and he knows it, and then it's all over and done with. <laughs>